Hi everyone, we're at Fab Tech. We are coming to the Arco booth because they have a brand new machine that we didn't get to in Cincinnati called the Edgebreaker 6000. And here's Dennis from Arco to tell us about it. Hello everybody. As you've seen me before, Dennis from Arco here, head of marketing for our US division in Cincinnati. We're live at the Fab Tech. It is day four, perfect time for a little bit live demonstration right here at the show. We have our brand new Edgebreaker 6000 with us. If you come around really quickly, wanted to give you an overview. We have our first unit, which is for deburring or grinding. Can be outfitted very easily with different types of sandpaper grits. Now, number two is our edge rounding unit. Very unique, large style rotary brushes. Ideal for rounding in various directions, which means universal rounding all the way throughout in all the crevices. Can also be changed to different types of medias depending on your rounding needs. Now, the last unit, right here which is the third unit is our finishing unit what we can do here is apply a nice grain finish onto the material and then basically the last thing as you can see in the background you have the white conveyor belt with holes in it that basically is a vacuum belt to hold parts as small as two by two inches if we want to take a quick look here we have a laser cut part you can really feel the sharp edges splatters deformations after cutting so what we're going to do now is we're going to process it so let's get started so over here we have our state-of-the-art HMI, as with our past machines, very easy to use, very easy overview. I don't want to go too deep into detail, but I just wanted to show you the one thing here is an overview, meaning you have unit one, two, and three. You have the various adjustments for each unit and speed, which is zero now because it's still off. And then in here, you can actually change the individual units. And the flexibility of this machine is actually very unique in the sense that you can turn units on and off. You don't have to run all three units. You could just deburr and edge round, edge round and finish, so on and so forth. So let's get started right away. We turn the machine on, go back to the home screen, start her up. As we can see, the machine is basically slowly starting to start up and get ready for production. Up here too, you can start seeing the motor torque kicking in and the actual adjustments in terms of adjustments how deep into the material but mainly speed as the machine is now starting to run you can actually see the individual speed of each belt and the rotary brushes keep in mind all these speeds can be adjusted depending on your finish and your deburring needs so let's get started over here like i said before you have the nice vacuum belt what that allows for is even parts as small as by two by two inches can be processed which makes it a really large portfolio because you have 51 inches, but you can also go as small as two by two, really keeping that versatility. But now we can see and watch the part go through the machine. So now as you can see, as the part comes around, uh, the rotary brush is really hit each angle in different direction as well to really give a unique and uniform edge rounding all the way around. And what kind of speed are we talking about, Dennis? So right now we're running at approximately about a meter a minute, which okay. is the standard speed. Now keep in mind, a lot of people say this might be slow. Well, why is it running so slow? But if you're loading up the whole bed width and you can stagger parts right behind each other, I can promise you the guy in the back is having trouble keeping up catching them. <laughs> so overall, it is really the standard speed we'd like to run because you can run faster, certainly, but that also sometimes means you have to dig into the material more, which yields to a higher wear off of your consumables. So it's really a give and get. Usually the meter is the standard, and believe it or not, when you fully load the bed, which you can with all of our machines, you're having a really nice and high throughput uh, rate. Right, so we could have uh, a square of uh, 10 by 10 of those basically. Exactly, it through, right, right, right okay. next to each other. Yep. The only thing like with any machine like this, you have to make sure that whatever parts you're feeding into are just the same thickness. Because obviously other parts will be hit oh, harder right. than others then. That's, right. that's the only thing it is. Otherwise yep. you can load her up, stagger the parts, and keep production rolling. Okay. As we're, we're getting to the end here oh, of yeah, the uh, rotary brush unit, the last unit will be the finishing unit for braiding. Okay. 
And tell us about that last unit. What uh, when you say it's for draining, what uh, what do you mean by that? Yep. So basically, what we have here, we have a fleece that is a for a directional drain finish. Okay. Now we can offer different types of finishes for this machine. The particular reason why we chose this finish type for the show was a lot of these parts turn out really, really nice with a beautiful directional drain finish. So you'll see this at the end result. A lot of the times, that's really what a lot of people are looking for, but we can very easily customize the finish or the finish overall on parts, depending on what consumables we enter into the machine. Okay, and then that part is coming through, and this is, uh, you said like a fleece on this roller? Exactly, yep. yep. So we have similar rollers on the front or on the back, or I shouldn't say rollers, they're wide belts. Okay. And basically the nice feature too is if you look at the top here, you see ah, how it moves? Yeah, yeah. The movement it does because it keeps the belt centered at all times. Gotcha. And now we can see, we'll let it leave it under the light. I'll hold it up in a second. You have a little bit of dust laying on it, but that's normal just from the residual dust sitting on top of the part. I don't want to touch it too much with my hands to get some grease on it. But as you can see, beautiful all the way around. Nice directional grain finish, and most importantly, no burrs and edges rounded all the way throughout. Even the inside crevices, such as small as this, everything is rounded and ready for further production. Right. Thank you, Great. and this Thank was Dennis you. live from Fabtech. Have a good day.